Hey guys, it's Colette and Charlie from Vera B. It is Friday. Um, so we are doing uh, the week three skincare and we've had so many questions about sunscreen. So we thought, you know what? We'll do a sunscreen um, video. Yes. Um, so here we are. Um, so we've got quite a big range now at Vera B um, for sunscreens and all of them are 100% natural. And the difference with a natural sunscreen is it uses um, zinc oxide. So that reflects the UV rays um, rather than the chemical sunscreen that you put on gets absorbed um, into the skin. Um, and if you look at um, and kind of Google about chemical sunscreens, you don't want to be putting them on you or your family. Um, so zinc oxide is a completely natural product and it will reflect. Yep reflect the UV rays um, and also um, all of our ones are zinc oxide based because zinc oxide is the broad spectrum um, natural sunscreen so it covers you for UVA and UVB um, there's also titanium dioxide that you can get in natural sunscreens but it's not a broad spectrum spectrum and all the zinc oxide we in our sunscreens is the non nano so there's two types, isn't it? There's, yes. there's nano um, zinc oxide and non nano non zinc. Nano. And the nano zinc oxide is the one that is dangerous to marine and coral life um, because it is much smaller of particles. So it gets into um, the systems of marine life um, much more easily. Um, and the nano one is coral and reef safe and also mm. safe for marine life. So. Yeah, and they've also done tests and research on that nano can still get into the skin, whereas non nano, really again, the particles are too big to be absorbed. Yeah. Yeah, so a little bit of science for you. Oh, <laughs> we are so clever. I can't believe it because we're quite frazzled. It's been really hot in the... We're looking yeah. a little bit frazzled It's because it's been very hot in the Vera Beehive today. Yeah. Um, so we were a little bit sweaty. We were, yeah. Sweaty, yeah. We are. We are. So we, we, are. We are. We're still sweaty. <laughs> we're still sweaty. So, um, so first of all, I'm going to kick off with um, our new sunscreen, which I did speak about earlier, if anyone watches our social media, the Soul... The Ibiza. Um, this is made in Ibiza, um, so it can, comes in aluminium tin. All of them are plastic free. Um, this is face and body for kids and adults. Um, it's only got a few ingredients in it. It's SPF 30, um, but it has organic aloe vera from Ibiza. Um, but it also um, has uh, coconut oil and calendula. And calendula is really soothing um, for the skin if you have sort of eczema or psoriasis and things yeah, like that. It's great on kids' skin. It's as great well. on kids. And it's a really lovely, um, so it is white, there you go. But it really, um, because of the aloe vera and the, um, the oils, coconut oil, it really goes into the skin really easily. And I think a lot of people find that with zinc oxide, it, it, you know, it's too thick or it doesn't rub in. This really, really does. This is my new mm. favourite um, for body. Um, but for anyone that doesn't like to use a tinted sort of SPF on their face, then this would be a really good one for your face because it's not going to clog any pores either. Just quickly, because I saw a few people had asked you mm. about... Um, where to, when to apply sunscreen so apply under your moisturizer on top of it yeah so that's a really really good um question and uh so layering of any kind of skincare product so um to start off with obviously you put your serum on or a face oil on and then you put your moisturizer on and then you would put your sunscreen on your face and the same for your body i tend to moisturize my skin and then put my sunscreen on and that's absolutely fine, but that's the way to do it. So um, moisturizer, sunscreen, and then if you're putting on your face, moisturizer, sunscreen, makeup, if you're gonna do it that way. Okay. Um, but generally in skincare, the rule of thumb is the thinnest product first. So when you're doing yeah. your serums and stuff and moisturizers, always thinnest products first, which is gonna be your face oil, serums, moisturizer, sunscreen, makeup. That, that help? Yeah, <laughs> is it weird when you know more about something than I do? Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you my favourite face one, which is the Raw Elements Tinted Face Moisturiser. And if you've watched us for a while, you'll be bored of me telling you how much I love this product. Um, so again, it's organic, but it's not vegan. So this is vegan, and all of our other ones are vegan, well, apart from the shade. 
Um, this is vegan, the solder Ibiza is vegan. This isn't vegan because it's got organic beeswax in it. So if you're strict vegan and don't use bees products, then this one isn't for you. But if it is, lucky you because it is beautiful. Now it looks quite dark and my skin isn't that dark, and especially in the winter and I wear this in the winter. But once you rub it in, so I've got quite a lot there. But once you rub it in, because again of the oils, it just disappears. And it just gives you like that really dewy glow, yeah, doesn't it? it like is. you love it as well. It does, so yeah, it does. It's like a pop, it's a proper like dewy glow. There's no matte like finish to it. It's no, just... it's not like a foundation. It's like just a tinted Yeah, so if you're going on the beach and you don't want to wear like, heavy makeup, it just yeah. like gives your skin a little lift without actually like looking like you're wearing anything at all. Yeah, right? and I use it on my face, down my neck, and then across here, especially in the winter, I still cover that bit. Um, but that's got um, organic green tea in it. It's got coffee beans, um, hemp seed oil, mango. So it's, if you just want in, you know, to put a moisturizer on, then just use that and then you're covered. You've got your SPF 30. I think, I think we can tell that you love this. Do you can use L. You do get really excited. I do, I love <laughs> it. This is my, this took me so long to find a completely plastic free, organic tinted face moisturizer no, with SPF true. 30. I spent about six months trying to find this, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to do the, are you going to just show the amazing? So simply? then the other That's range, the and this is vegan, vegan sunscreen, again, mineral sunscreen to so the zinc oxide. So we've got liquid forms. These are both the same, but one's 100 milliliters and one's 150. And this is SPF 50. So this is your super strong, but just remember that SPF 30, I think is 97% sunblock yeah so yeah, you know same. and this only takes you up to i think another two percent like 99 percent yeah it's not, it doesn't nothing really add 100 yeah so but if you do like a full sunblock and you like a liquid um then this is the one for you spf 50 and zinc and you've got the two different sizes um again really easy to apply um and that's great if you're just like literally want to yeah. swipe it on. Yeah. And that's got almond oil in it, jojoba oil, olive oil. They're all so good for your skin. So you're moisturising at the same time. Come off the beach looking like a goddess. Goddess. Yeah. Well, I always do, obviously. Well, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Um, so this is their mineral butter and this is SPF 30. And this has got like a pink, pink shade to it. Um... But again, very similar, very easy to apply. You can wear it on your face. Um, really beautiful, uh, but it's kind of a thicker butter. Um, and then the raspberry butter, which I would say this is, um, so this is SPF 15, and this is like an oil kind of balm, if you can see there. Um, and it gives you a really oily effect. If that makes sense. Yeah. So Some people like that though, because they, if they're quite bronzed already, they like to oil Yeah, up. and this is what I was going to say. It's really nice in the evenings. You know, if you're going out sort of five, six o'clock, yeah. and you still want a bit of sun protection, yeah. but you want your skin to also look glowy, mm -hmm. this is a really, really nice one. And also, um, kind of, I would go for walks in the evenings. You know, when we get home this evening, I'll go for walks. So I'll pop this on my legs. Um, just because it will still give me some protection, but the sun, you know, isn't that strong. And I'm everyone in everyone in Shipley is oh, like, oh yeah, oh, wow, wow. Look at yeah, her, look yeah. at her legs, <laughs> they're so shiny. Um, they don't. It's full of farmers. Um, but um, <laughs> but this doesn't have the zinc oxide in it. This um, comes from the uh, or the ingredients within it, which is the raspberry and the kernel oil, shea butter oat um so again really calming on the skin and i think the tamanu oil gives you the spf 15 so that's one five um but yeah i really like really really like yeah that. no i like it's got a nice texture that mm. one yeah so yeah so that's all the amazing and they're all vegan um so the only one that's not vegan is is the raw elements yeah and, and this and this one i'm about to show you shade as well this isn't vegan this has beeswax in it again but Again, it's a really, really lovely product. It's only got literally four ingredients in, which I don't know if you can see, but it's coconut, 
beeswax, shea butter, and the non-nano zinc oxide. So just four ingredients, and it's SPF 25. And we do it in two sizes, so we have the larger 100 mil size and then the little 15 mil size. But this is really good for popping your handbag. So mm. when I'm out and about with the boys, I always carry one of those because it's great for if you see the like, nose is burning, you can just whack that on them. And another thing I always carry with me, and I just wanted to show you, is our raw elements um, for kids, baby and kids. Now this is, I think it's SPF 30. Yeah. Um, and again, it's got, it's got the chamomile and the can calendula. calendula in it as well. But again, it's got beeswax in it. So this one isn't vegan either, just to warn you. But again, this is really handy stick to have. I have it for my boys, as you can see it's used. Um, and it's really good for putting on their faces, you know, across their forehead and the top of their cheeks and their noses where they always burn. Mm. This is great for doing that. Yeah. But for anyone with really sensitive skin as well, um, I would say, you know, certainly you could use, and that this can be used on babies, um, and also the, I mean, any of them would be good for sensitive skins because there isn't any irritant chemicals in there. But this one especially, the Solda Ibiza, because it's got the aloe vera and the calendula, um, it, it just won't cause any irritation. And, and they specifically say it is for people that have allergies um, to normal sunscreens yeah. so yeah well it might seem that we've got a lot of sunscreens but it's because it's such an important thing Colette goes on about it all the time um, it's because so it is, important it will, if the, the best way you can protect your skin against aging um, and the damaging effects of the sun is by putting a sunscreen on every day every single day including in the winter just put it on use it make it part of your skincare routine yeah, absolutely yeah really really important and uh you know it's our biggest organ and we should look after it so and it protects us so we should protect protect it yeah. so yeah there you go um any questions obviously always ask us because we're, we're here to help but yes we hope we'll do you, our best yeah we hope you have a uh, lovely weekend. weekend. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to go home and have a large glass of wine. Bottle. Bottle. We're going to yeah. have a large bottle. Got, we're two. Two bottles. <laughs> it's a large bottle. Each. Isn't it? Each. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Um, but um, we will see you hopefully all on Monday. But enjoy the sunshine if you've got sunshine. Yep. And stay safe and well. And lots of love. See you Bye. later. Bye.